Hello, this is Chas with Heirloom Leaves and Seeds, and today I have this box from Longfield Gardens, and I thought I would open it with you today. Now, I have never placed an order with them before, and of course, this is not sponsored in any way, but this video, I thought it would be fun to show you this order. Now, I had previously gotten this in the mail a couple days earlier. It is um, Rose Lily Bulb Samantha. I'll open that. I'm curious to see what the bulbs are like. Okay, so I have the invoice and just a how to care for your new bulbs sheet. All right, let's see what we have. All just in here similar to this one. So here we have, this is the Asiatic Lily, Royal Sunset, and then this one is, let's see, Rose Lily Samantha, and then Dahlia, Alana, Claire, Obscura, Lavender Perfection, Dahlia, and, oh, these are the Chocolate Cosmos. So, let's see what we have here. I have no idea what the Asiatic Lily Bulb looks like. This is the Royal Sunset. Oh. Looks pretty nice. There should be, doesn't say how many should be in here, at least I don't see it right off the bat. <laughs> Six inches deep, eight inches apart, and they'll get 30 inches tall. I'm not going to dig around in all of this. Another one, but these look really nice. Here's another one, and they're getting... Um, a growth point. I'm not sure what this is called, but these look really good. Cover this one up. I'll have to double check. Like I said earlier, I've never grown these before, so I'm guessing that they need to be after a first frost. Okay, this is the Rose Lily Samantha look really good. Also, I can tell already, I can see an eye. Or, I guess this may not be an eye, it's a growth point. Sprout. <laughs> These look really nice. It's purple. Let's see another one. These look really good. I'm excited to plant these and Uses. I've never in my life grown any sort of lily. It's funny, my husband's grandmother, she did not like lilies. But I think it was the typical Easter lily that she was not a fan of. And um, so I've never been very interested in lilies. But I've watched some YouTube videos about people using them in arrangements and it just they look really nice and I want to give it a try but I think she just didn't like the typical Easter lily or the ones that are always used in funerals and I understand that okay so here's a dahlia tuber lots of tubers uh, I don't see any like prominent eyes on here. I'm sure there are some in here. This looks pretty nice. Plus I'm trying not to make a huge mess. <laughs> but it's got two in here. Here's another one. 
right, I'm just gonna leave those alone because I don't see anything obvious, but with a comp like this, there's bound to be some eyes. I just don't wanna make a big mess right at this moment. I thought about doing it outside, but it's noon and the sun is very bright out, so it probably wouldn't have been the best video. Okay, this is the I don't know, Alana Claire Obscura. I'm just going to say Alana. Okay. Mm. Okay. It's a broken neck. On that one. Oh, there's an eye. You'll never be able to see it, but there is. It's not, I can feel it, but it's hard to see. And there's another one in here. Right there. You'll probably see this one right there, but there's an eye. That one was a little bit more obvious and after I record this inside I will show you guys I overwintered some dahlias in the raised bed outside and they're already showing growth which is crazy I've actually had to cover them up because we've had some frost Ooh. Okay, these are the chocolate cosmos. <clears throat> <clears throat> these you can obviously see the green growth. There you can see it a little bit, a little bit better. But yeah, these have green growth. There's a couple in here, and I can see it on these guys as well. There's one more. See the green growth. about those. I've never grown these before either. And that's something I always try to do every year is I like to try to grow new things. I try not to do too many because I don't want to get overwhelmed with all these new varieties that I'm unfamiliar with. But I always do try to do several but not too many new varieties. Now if it's a dahlia and I just get a different type that's not you know a big deal. But, like, I've never grown these rose lilies before or the chocolate cosmos. So, that is different. All right, and this is the rose lily Samantha as well. These don't have such a prominent growth point like the other ones did, but they still look pretty good. All right, now that I've made this huge mess, <laughs> so let's go out and I will show you the growth of the dahlias that I overwintered outside next. Here we have a cafe au lait that I left in the ground from last year. And as you can see, it's just got some nice green growth shooting up. And um, over the winter, I just put a little pine straw down and I covered them with some row cover just to be safe. And they did really good. I actually have them, they're in this bed and over here, well, some weeds, but mostly it's crimson clover for a cover crop. And then I'll take this up and I'll probably do some more dahlias here. But I just have a small row of three dahlias in this row. And this is what they look like. And I have to be careful right now because we are still getting some frost and I gotta make sure they're covered. But when it's nice outside, I will 
take the row covers off, but if we're expecting a freeze or close to it, I will put that right back on. All right, guys, that is everything for today. I will see you in the next video. Bye.